In this illustration, we have two angles that form a straight angle. All straight angles are 180 degrees, so the two angles together would be supplementary angles. So we know in the problem that both of the angles added together must equal 180 degrees. So we are going to use this information to figure out what the value of x is. On the left, we have an expression that reads 2x plus 30, and on the right, we have an expression that reads 2x minus 10. Because we know that both angles have a sum of 180 degrees, we are going to take 2x plus 30 and add that to 2x minus 10 and set that equal to 180 degrees. And then all we have to do is figure out what the value of x is by isolating that variable. Now right below, I'm going to write 2x plus 30. And because we have a plus sign, we can keep every term inside the next set of parentheses the same. When there's only a single plus on the outside of parentheses, Remember, there's really a number 1 there. It's like saying positive 1. So we could distribute a positive 1 to each term inside parentheses, essentially keeping each term the same. If there was a minus sign, we would have to multiply negative 1 by each term inside parentheses. So 1 times 2x is 2x, and 1 times negative 10 is negative 10. And this whole expression is still equal to 180 degrees. The next thing that we are going to do is combine like terms. So we can combine the 2x to this 2x, giving us a sum of 4x. And then we can combine the 30 with the minus 10. And 30 minus 10 is a total of 20. So now we have the equation 4x plus 20 is equal to 180 degrees. The next thing that we have to do is isolate our variables. So we are going to start by subtracting 20 on the left and moving it over to the right side of our equation. And we have to do the same thing on the right that we did on the left, so we balance out our equation. So on the left, all we have remaining is 4x, and on the right, we have a total of 160. Because our goal is to have 1x at the end of our equation, we are going to take the number 4 and divide it by itself, because anything divided by itself is one whole. And we have to balance our equation, so we have to also divide the other side by 4. So on the left, 4 divided by 4 is 1, and that leaves us with 1x. And on the right-hand side, we have 160 divided by 4, which is 40. So we know what the value of x is. But notice in the problem, they are asking us to also find the measure of each angle. So what we have to do is take the value of x and plug it into each expression. Let's start with the obtuse angle. So we are going to write the expression 2x plus 30. And we are going to substitute the value of 40 in for x. First, we multiply 2 times 40, which is 80. And 80 plus 30 is a sum of 110 degrees. So this angle right here is 110 degrees. And we know that the other angle must be added to 110 to have a total of 180. Therefore, that angle must be 70 degrees. And we can verify this by plugging 40 into the expression 2x minus 10. So we replace the x with 40 and multiply 40 by 2, which is 80, and then subtract 10. And 80 minus 10 does give us 70 degrees. So this was just one example of how you can use equations to solve a problem.